Hello and welcome to our first video of Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 3. Galactic Civilizations 3 is a 4x turn-based strategy video game for Windows by Starduck. 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 It is the sequel to 2006's Galactic Civilization 2 Dreadlords. It was released on May 14th, 2015 and is available on Steam for $49.99. So let's get right into playing a game. We'll just start by, let's be the Terran Alliance, and we will have a small galaxy with tight clusters. <coughs> we'll keep everything at default settings for now, and Let's play against three other opponents on normal level difficulty for now. Well, let's let's have them all be random. Okay, so we'll add three random opponents. And let's get going. I've played Galactic Civilization a few times, got to unlock achievements unlocked. <coughs> but I used the software to reset all the achievements so that we can unlock them together. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick, I'm trying to get over a cold, a little cough. Terran Alliance. The spies despite being the Despite being the youngest race in the galaxy, the Terrans are perhaps the most dangerous. Notably, it was their inversion of the hyperdrive, invention of the hyperdrive, and decision to spread it to their neighbors, which led to the current arms race the galaxy finds itself in. Although Terrans present themselves as peaceful and democratic people, when they are drawn into warfare, they possess an intuitive flair for violence. Flair. Nice, and extreme willingness to exercise it. Although Terrans find nothing strange about this dichotomy, dichotomy, whatever the word is, <laughs> I know what it means. Many of their galactic peers regard it as alarming and even duplicitous. Duplicitous. Wow, can't say anything today. Strengths and weaknesses. Terrans are naturally adventurous with fast, long-ranging ships. Their pro production capacity and di diplomatic abilities are well regarded. Their ability to field large fleets is regarded with a bit more wariness. Wariness. <coughs> it's because I'm using a TV right now, so it is being played on 720 P instead of 1080p. However, I just bought a bunch of new 27 inch monitors, Acer monitors with 1080p uh, be for Cyber Monday. So I am excited for that to come in. Allows construction of improved colony buildings. Um, allows construction of civilian buildings, increases population growth. Uh, let's do population growth. And we have the surveyor. So that we can find, check out these anomalies. And we can colonize another planet. So let's go towards this one, Sara 1. And let's bring the scout towards this sun up here. And let us begin building factories. <coughs> and we will go to a manufacturing focus. Um,
before there was a way where you could actually um, pull like a what's it called it was like on a spectrum so that you could actually choose how much of each could go where but they changed it so let's um, buy a colony ship and expand as quickly as possible buy another colony ship <coughs> first anom anomaly survey your survey ship cautiously approaches the mysterious object all sensors set to maximum gain a circuit of the universe the first of many is about to reveal itself to you mysterious hardware the aliens computational systems found in this cop capsule are so advanced that your survey team lacks the world words to describe all but their most rudimentary functions even those low-level capabilities however are enough to advance our technological studies by leaps and bounds 25 percent planetary improvement <coughs> nice let's go to that st uh, sun and let us start building constructors <coughs> actually let us shut down so we don't have any construction for now and we will focus primarily on the production on earth and let's have this planet or this colony ship go up to this star base set us our this sun so we have Sara finally after their long journey your colonists set foot on an alien planet or alien world untold effort and struggle were required to get even this far but it's only the beginning the galaxy is filled with the world worlds for the taking And we can focus on benevolent, aggressive natives, an aggressive species of sentiment, sentient quadruple, quadrupeds, quadrupeds live in the forests and hills of this planet. They're, they've resisted all attempts to communicate with them and have relentlessly attacked your colony since you arrived. Although no actual threat to your military, they can harass and easily slaughter unguarded civilians, and as is so, often the case when the risk of slaughter is non-zero, moral again amongst the colonists is low. What are your orders? R ramp up your native outreach effort efforts. Even if we lose a few people doing it, this effort will make our colony an advertisement to the galaxy of our cultures kind and sympathetic na nature keep our colonists behind our defensive fortifications at all times they might not like it but with no great outdoors to enjoy they might as might at least get more done wipe the natives out well wipe out the ones that don't hide if they hide somewhere they're fine we're gonna stay benevolent and good and let us focus on building factories <coughs> manufacturing focus and our ideology will be to outreach benevolent civilizations believe they can peacefully explore and colonize the galaxy outreach get, get the uh, colonize the galaxy outreach gives them the tools they need to do it pioneering your people are eager to explore the stars and more importantly are willing to put up the credits to do it grants a free fully loaded colony ship we are about to be a very colonized um, quickly expanded civilization continue to explore 
we do not we cannot communicate right now no uh, we don't have the technology to to, uh, to communicate yet sorry ah, I'm just like lost in words been a little sick lately so try not to cough and maybe I just suck at reading who knows oh also um I am upgrading my monitor soon so I'll have 1080p which is great news but you gotta start somewhere so we can what is our population <coughs> build some research factories here yep we'll have earth be very balanced We're about to get another colonized planet. Okay. Well, that's good that we can build that there. Let's continue to build more. No, actually. Build it here, too. That way we can have research around here. Build more factories. The terrain of this planet has proven very challenging for our conventional ground vehicles to deal with, and some colonists have begun capturing and taming a hardy local species of marsupial to use for hopping around between buildings and colonies. The animals are well suited for the work and don't seem to, to be suffering. But there have been a few accidents and animal rights activists across the galaxy are demanding the practice to be banned. What are your orders? This is shockingly primitive, disrespectful of the inheritance rights these, <coughs> these beasts have and looks a bit silly. And the practice that once any animals too tame to return to the wild can be kept as pets. Damn animal activist groups ruining all the fun. If the animals aren't overly suffering, what's the harm? Allow the practice to continue, but at least begin monitoring and regulating it. Would the animals work harder if they were suffering? See if we can find a way to make the animals suffer. Well, we're going to remain benevolent, which is plus 10 benevolent and plus 10 percent approval. This will just work on factories. <clears throat> and we will build. Mm want to build on Mars check out this system over here we have plenty of colony ships but no planets to inhabit Okay, so let's balance this out and can build a hospital.
Don't want to build that there. Let's build. Hospital right there. Another factory, another factory. Continue to explore. We still have no forms of communication yet. Let's get improved population growth focus. as well as un and don't have to shut that down anymore And let's start to communicate. Maybe we can trade some items. IRS Cloud. We have Dupree's field with plus 36 to the treasury. Not bad. We should warn you, Thal and Contingency have built up a powerful military. Really? Is that so? Seems still pretty early into the game, but it makes sense if they have they might have something. Uh, let's improve our research capacity so we can get some advanced weaponry in the future. Hmm. Let's continue to explore the rest of the galaxy. <clears throat> and we'll need to make some starships so that we can capture this geranium. Durantium. Catch that durantium up there. We now have Mars. And let's put factories. And let's manage so we can get Mars. Uh, sweet Mars also is working on the construction of the star bases. Allows construction of advanced manufacturing facilities, allows construction of improved 
research facilities. Well, <clears throat> we can get both of those. We have pretty good approval in all of our planets. We have four planets. Iconia, I think, only has one planet. And eventually we'll be getting another uh, planet if we continue the benevolence traits for ideology. Uh, a planet will just appear. <coughs> Research is coming together quite well. And we should start creating some troops, some uh, um, some ships to defend us if they keep threatening us. So we can build a Up every upgrade everything. We'll delete the thing, uh, the factory in the middle, and then make the. Then we'll make the capital because it's gonna take several turns. Make more constructors, and we will start mining durantium. Check out the left side of the galaxy. <coughs> mm -mm. We have a good amount of control on the map. Um, with smaller maps like this, with closer quarters, it's good to invest a lot into research because uh, expansion, you just can't expand. So we have our st first star base. And the timer just went off. Get a mining ring. So we will end here on our first episode here at we are playing Galactic Civilization 3. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. And if you enjoyed, 
And if you want to keep watching videos, feel free to hit subscribe. Thank you for watching, and until next time, Flare is out.